So the big Eldar vs Chaos Eldritch Omens box is coming out this week, and it appears to be a relatively expensive one, £125, €155, Euros, or $200. Let's talk about whether or not it represents a good deal. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today I thought we'd turn the lens on Games Workshop's offering of the week, Eldritch Omens, then you vs this box which pits the Eldar Rangers plus an Autark vs Chaos Chosen, a Warpsmith and a Forge Fiend. They first revealed the box on Christmas Day, and it has really quite a lot of new miniatures in compared with a lot of their other previous versus boxes. It isn't just a couple of characters this time, a couple of relatively important squads for their factions, and also those new jet bikes. The release does imply that both the Eldar and the Chaos Codexes really aren't all that far away now. The Eldar one was rumoured to be dropping sometime in February, and the Chaos one is likely to be one of the next ones after that. I must admit the price was a little bit steeper than I was expecting, most of their versus boxes do tend to be run around the £105 mark. Hexfire was £105 or $170, so unfortunately it is looking a fair bit more expensive than Grey Knights vs Thousand Sons. I feel that the price might well be a turn off to quite a lot of people, but let's take a look through the box, talk a little bit about the individual kits and how much they might be worth, and look at a couple of new revealed sprues for the Chaos Chosen, which were one of the biggest question marks in the box for me. I will be giving away a couple of these in the channel prize draw for the start of March, so feel free to hang around to the end of the video if you'd like to hear about that. So Eldritch Omens pre-orders this Saturday, releases a week after, and it's confirmed to be either £125 or €155. Euros. In the past, previous releases like the Black Templar launch box have equated to $200 at this price point. As I've said, it means it's more than several of the other Versus boxes, and at the moment I'm not sure whether or not Games Workshop is doing that guaranteed order thing that they do. The one where if you order a box, you are guaranteed to get it, even if you have to wait a long time, and for them to do a second print run. If not, it might be a bit of the usual scramble for pre-ordering it as soon as possible. I feel like it is going to be a really interesting one for a lot of players due to the really nice new models, but Games Workshop maybe do appear to be capitalising on that with the price points, and charging more for it than some of their other boxes that have come recently. In the box, on the Eldar side, you get a multi-part Autark with a warp jump generator. I must admit, I think that this is one of the best HQ models that they've released in a really long time. Looks great, and actually comes with a really generous amount of options. You can have a Reaper launcher, fusion gun, death spinner, or shuriken pistol. You can either equip it with an warp generator or leave it off. And I believe that there's the option of a power sword or star glaive in the right hand. They're quite likely to cost £23.50, the same as Games Workshop's other character models. Next up we have 5 rangers, I really like the sculpts for these, really quite sticking quite close to their normal design at the moment, chameleon iron cloaks, sniper rifles and Eldar armour poking through. I think they were rumoured to be going to an elite's choice in Codex Craftworlds, though the latest rumours that I've seen have implied that they're staying troops after all. You get 5 of these, plus a little Eldar shrine thing, and I've estimated their price may be similar to the Necron Flayed ones, very recent and snazzy new plastic infantry models. Games Workshop often seems happy to charge a bit of a premium for these. On this estimate, I've put them at £31.50. I think for this one there is a chance they might actually be a bit cheaper than that. Plenty of their troop squads tend to be around about the £29 mark, but I feel like it's almost certainly going to be something in this region. Next up we have the new unit for the Eldar, the Shroud Runner Jet Bikes. Two man ranger jet bikes with a scatter laser mounted below, and a sniper rifle for hopefully hunting some characters. We've seen Elite's data sheet for these guys, putting them at 35 points per model, and being able to gain a whole bunch of really quite fun tricks, pre-game moving, being able to get cover even though they're bikes, and being able to ignore cover against the enemy if they do get up close. Scatter lasers are rumoured to be going to 6 shots each now, it does mean that these guys could pretty decently blend light infantry. I feel that these guys are very likely indeed to be around £36.50, that seems to be where Games Workshop charges for bike models at the moment, say for example the Space Marine Outriders or Orc Deathcopters. Next up on the Chaos side we have this Warpsmith, very much the dark mirror of the Primaris Tech Marine. I did notice a fair few people posting pictures of how similar the two models were, both in terms of war gear and posing. Again, kind of handy to have another kit rescued from Finecast, and I quite like the way that you get the option of both an axe and a hammer on this guy now. They've always been a model that hits fairly hard for how much they cost in points, just because you get really quite a lot of free gear like pistols and melter cutters and all sorts. Again, as a relatively nice character that isn't a really tiny support one, £23.50 seems quite likely. Next up, and a kit that Chaos players have waited for several editions to be able to have, we finally have genuine multi-part chosen models, done in really quite a similar style to those old ones that came out in 
in the Dark Vengeance box set. Like those ones, they are at least fairly busy models with a lot of ornamentation going on. I suppose they are the champions of the Dark Gods. And the kit does seem absolutely littered with fancy bits of kit, plenty of melter guns and plasma guns. It only perhaps appears one of each type of different combat weapon. I can spot at least two chainsaws on there, making me think that they'll probably give enough chainsaws to arm the whole squad with and make sure that they can field a unit just at default gear if you want to. A big thank you to the Discord user Gene for sending me these pictures. I'm not sure where they originated from, but it's good to see a first look of some of the options that they'll get. Plenty of brutal, heretical looking combat weapons, and what looks like a fair amount of ornamentation and head swaps and things for the different squad members. I'm not entirely sure what Games Workshop will charge for these ones. I've initially guessed the same as the Necron Flayed ones again. Another 5 miniature kit and relatively nice new plastic models. In my estimate, I chose to include them at £31.50 again. Finally, last and arguably least, we have the Forge Fiend and Mauler Fiend kit. It's the only one who isn't a new model in the box. And while the Dinobot is from the more recent range of Chaos Space Marines, not as much of a relic as some of the other kits like the Predator and the Lamb Raider, I think he is still not one that a lot of Chaos players will be massively bothered about compared with the others, and it is going to be making up quite a big bit of the value of the kit just with how much it costs. Overall, just as an estimate for the prices then, if you put those together it comes to £191.50, so it does still look like there's a significant saving over the £125, though with a couple of snazzy character miniatures and all the new miniatures being really quite elite squads, it does mean that you're not really getting all that many miniatures for the money. I think it could mean around about a discount of about 35% compared with buying these separately at a later date when they are released, but whether or not that's enough to justify it for you is another matter. I think these versus boxes do depend on a fair few things, whether you like the exact aesthetic of the models that come with them, and whether you either collect both factions, and whether or not you have someone who you can split the box with, so someone takes the Chaos and someone takes the Eldar. I must admit, I don't think people will be very impressed with the model count at this price. Even if the Chaos models are quite fancy, you do only get 7 of them, and it's only 8 for the Eldar. I think the price is maybe more indicative of how much Games Workshop charges for these elite squads these days than anything else. But certainly just when taken as a whole, if you just look at the box and see 15 miniatures for £125, I can imagine that's going to turn a fair amount of people off. I think a lot more people would have been keen to pick this up at 105 or the $170 mark, but to be fair the discount on this one does seem in line with Games Workshop's usual discount practices, just based on how much I think they're going to charge for these individually. In game-wise, I certainly wouldn't be buying the models for the rules right now, both of the factions are waiting for a codex that's going to be coming out really soon. If you wanted to pick this up, it could be a good starter to either force, I suppose. But when new codexes come out, everything has the opportunity to go up, down, get better or worse. So even if the Chosen and Warpsmith do fit in with your plans perfectly at the moment, they might not quite as much in a few months' time. Just on the unit mix in general, for the Eldar it kind of depends on whether you really like Rangers or not. If you don't, then this really isn't the box for you. For Chaos, both the Forge Fiend and the Warpsmith are quite cool models that I'd quite want in the collection but being bundled with that expensive Forge Fiend doesn't really help too much, particularly if people already have one of those. Overall, I perhaps feel that it's a box that quite a lot of people are going to pick up, but the price is going to be a sticking point for some people, and it will turn people off. Finally, just while we're on the subject, I thought I'd mention the Allspex Tactics March giveaway, which will be for two copies of this box. I usually run monthly prize giveaways on the channel, posting out a couple of big boxes of miniatures to people who either support on Patreon or social media and there's still time to enter for the February one at time of recording. That'll be done on the 1st of February, and that's for two copies of the Space Marine Shieldbreaker Strike Force, the one with all the intercessors. There's two ways in which you can enter the prize giveaway each month. Either support the channel on Patreon for literally any amount of money whatsoever, it is what keeps the channel going and these videos coming, or you can support on social media completely for free. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page down in the video description, and then actually enter the draw on the Facebook post that goes live on the 1st of the month, Entering with a picture of a miniature, with your name and the date handwritten within the image, that bit just to prevent Facebook bots and things. I draw the winner with a random number generator, and whoever wins I just post out the box to. If you're interested, or you just want to help support the channel, the Patreon link is down in the video description, as is the link to the Facebook page and other things. In any case, I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say about the box. Is it a good deal or a pass for you? Let me hear what you think. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics, but we'll certainly keep the regular 40k stuff coming, and I'll certainly aim to keep up with Games Workshop news and releases as they come out. Finally, as well as the Patreon page for the giveaways, there's also another way to help support the channel. 
and that's my Element Games affiliate link down in the video description below. If you live in the UK, Element Games is a discount retailer, they give 10-20% to off Games Workshop's miniatures, and could be a potential way to pick up this box set if you're interested. If you click the link in the video description and order anything, a small amount goes to help support the channel without costing you any more whatsoever. It can just be a way to help get a small discount and help out the channel on things that you are going to buy anyway. A big thank you to you guys who do use that, it is really really helpful. In any case, an enormous thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.